a non-Christian comes to your church okay, and starts talking about some science shit that you don't know about. Okay, sure. And uh, says to you, who doesn't know what they're talking about, right? Um, all of this stuff and says, uh, what, like... What do you do in that situation? Okay. Like, they, they come to you and be like, you're an idiot for pastoring all these idiots because you don't know the science that I know and neither do any of them. Right. And they want to come to the church and and tell you that, and then they just stand there and wait for you to respond. What do you do? First of all, I would say, let me read what you're talking about. Like, let me, let me hand me the papers. Mm -hmm. Let me read it. Okay. Let's talk about it afterwards mm -hmm. and because I'm actually interested in having the conversation. And but because, you know, if I'm talking to someone who is really trained or they've studied in science and I haven't. OK, cool. Let me direct you, point you to somebody that, or maybe they can join us in a conversation. OK. Who is a biologist or who is a chemist or whatever it may be. and so that, because i'm i'm very aware of the fact that we all have limits right mm -hmm. we all have limits in our training and in our skill sets but that again i would welcome that person i would also say hey this is awesome that you're handing me this can would you be willing to read an article on on fine tuning would you be willing to read a paper on the cosmological argument for the existence of god Right. Okay. And and allow and allow people to to read those. Mm -hmm. Right. And now let's have a healthy dialogue together. And again, uh, I'm aware that my <laughs> my knowledge set, uh, you know, of science. It, it, it hits at some point. Right. All right. Let's, right. Let's find someone else that maybe can answer your questions better than I can. OK. So. So what if it wasn't you? What would you tell your congregation to do in that situation? The exact same thing. Okay. Yeah. But they don't do that, though. Okay. So what would you tell them when they're not doing that? And they're going, your uh, science stuff, like, <laughs> okay, I think you're, you know, here's a Bible. <laughs> you know, like... What do you do in that situation? Yeah. What do you tell them to do in that situation? Okay, so maybe they need to say, "Hey, you know, I don't know enough to 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 talk with you, or I don't really understand this. Can you go talk to my pastor?" Okay, and because I'm I'm all for it. And there's people in our congregation that you know have a have more of a science background than I do, whether it's because they're in the medical field or because they're in, they're actually. You know, there's one individual that actually, you know, um, is a biologist. And so, right. So like you. All right. Let me point you to people that have more understanding than I do. Mm -hmm. And so or at least bring them into the conversation with us. And so I don't think that the response, I guess, necessarily has to be, well, just you know, hand them a Bible and tell you to pray for them. No, invite them into a further conversation. And if not with you, then with either you know, myself or one of the other members in our church mm -hmm. who can have that conversation with them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're a scientist. Here's the card for my exorcist. <laughs> Let's get that science <laughs> out of you. Yeah. Anyway, the, the, common conception. Sorry. It's funny and jokes and stuff. Whatever. <laughs>